We have, of course, if you watch this newscast, reported at great length about the migrant crisis, how to pay for and deal with the 170,000 or so asylum seekers who have come to New York City. But we also report a lot on the stories that inspire, like this next one, a group now helping migrants learn how to prepare and cook food and then get jobs, helping to lift others and lift the economy. At cooking school tonight for us, here's Lucy Yang. 23-year-old Vicky Lopez graduated from law school in Nicaragua last year, but political unrest led her here to New York, where she is now learning how to dice red peppers. Realmente ya es... The opportunities that have been offered by this program make me feel like it's a good transition, like I'm ready to move on to the next step. Vicky is one of 10 migrants chosen for a new pilot program with CCAP, which stands for Careers Through Culinary Arts Program. For the next five weeks, these asylum seekers from Colombia, Ecuador, Haiti, Nicaragua, and Venezuela will be taught the basics of food prep and hospitality. In lesson one, they learned how to julienne vegetables and chiffonade basil. After their training, they'll be placed in high-end restaurants while another group begins. There is currently funding for 50 migrants. All must have work permits. They're going to get benefits that are amazing, um, good pay, and they're going to be in companies like Union Square Hospitality Group, which is an incredible company. If food is a universal language, these migrants are about to learn a new skill that could translate into a new career in this, their new country. Professionally, I don't cook. I have no doubt I'm going to do really well. In the last three decades, CCAP has taught more than 370,000 chefs. They work with teenagers, adults, those formerly incarcerated, and now migrants. Para los estudiantes, gracias. We're honored to have you here. Good luck in the weeks ahead. When we're done, we stand ready to help you connect to jobs. Thank you to this great state and to this great city. In Queens, Lucy Yang, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. The melting pot of New York City. That's and that's how you do it. Yep. I mean, that's a delicious solution. All right.